Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will show you how to create an easy Valentine's Day craft, creating a tic-tac-toe game using a Dollar Tree Valentine's Day bag, some Valentine erasers, and some HTV to finish it off. Such an easy and inexpensive craft, so let's get started. so I'm starting in design space here and I already have my file uploaded and added to design space I'm going to show you really quick what it looks like so I purchased it from design bundles normally it's four dollars right now it's on sale for two dollars and sixty cents it comes with all of these files and I'm gonna tell you one thing that I love about this let me get rid of this is when you upload this into design space it is actually one whole file and meaning instead of downloading this and downloading this and this and each one individually it comes as one whole file so i really appreciate that when the sellers do that for people um so i just want to mention that really quick so i have it here so i'm going to select it i'm going to go up here and click ungroup because i want to work with them individually um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't like it, and I think it's going to be a headache to weed, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. And this one looks a little plain to me, so I'm going to get rid of that one too. I'm going to work with this, and then I'm going to work with these guys as well. Um, with these, um, I can show you really quick a previous one that I had worked on. So this is one that I worked on last year. I did the same thing that we're doing now is using HTV, but I purchased these bags from Amazon. So here's the back. I put the heart on it, and then I put the tic-tac-toe and the lines on it. But I want to show you what I was able to find last year at the dollar store to use for the little pieces. So here's an X and here is an O and they're little heart pieces. I was unable to find these at the dollar store. I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't find them again. I'm going to show you the back really quick. So I put X's and O's on these and then these are the bags that I'm going to be using. Um, I did a short live or a short video on this where I purchased them from and showing you that I was going to do something. So now I'm going to show you how to create them. These ones, they already have the hearts on them. I opened a bag. I can show you this one. So the heart is already on it. It's nice little drawstrings at the top and then there's nothing on the back. So I'm going to put the uh, the game piece on the back here, just the lines. And then on the front here, I'm going to do the Happy Valentine's Day. So if you buy these from the dollar store, I would suggest measuring yours. But mine, I'm going to do a three and a half by three and a half for the game piece back here. And then for the heart to go over here, I think I'm going to do three by three. And then we'll see how it looks like on the screen. But I'm thinking I took my mat and I kind of measured it up and that's how I like it. And then unfortunately, because I couldn't find these X's and O's here, um, I actually thought this would work. So these are actually erasers, but if you can tell, if, they, if you can see in here, there are little tiny um, unicorns in here, which is really cute. And then I picked up another one, Let's see if I can grab it quick, um, that have little uh, cupcakes on it. And I thought it was so cute and it'd be perfect for little hands to be able to pick up. These are kind of more difficult to play with. They're kind of clumsy and not so easy. So there is a pink and a red on here, so I think it would go perfect with the game piece. So again, this is what I created last year, um, and I figured I would just do another quick video tutorial on showing how to do it. But I had to put the heart on this, and then I put the game pieces together on it like this. So let's jump on back to design space, and I'll show you how I created them. All right, so now that you guys know what my pieces are gonna look like and what the bag looks like, um, I will show you what I'm gonna do with these. So because I don't have those little heart pieces, I'm actually gonna get rid of this. So if you have the little heart pieces or any other pieces that you'd like to use, you can cut out the X's and the O's or the X's and the hearts here. They work perfectly. You just got to resize it to whatever size that you need and use regular vinyl 651, not the HTV that I'm going to be using for all the rest of it. So I'm going to get rid of this. And the only other thing really that I have to do is just resize these things. This I said I wanted to be a three and a half by three and a half or similar to it. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up here and push 3.5 and then I'm going to push the tab button and then it's going to automatically do the height for me. So if I did a three by five by three by five, it would kind of skew it a little bit and it wouldn't look as good. So that's why I'm not unlocking it. I just kept it locked and did a three by five, 3.5 and then it did the height automatically for me. 
the Valentine's Day words, I want it to be a three by three. So the same thing, I'm not gonna unlock it, but I'm gonna change this to be a three. I'm gonna push the tab button and it's automatically gonna change the height. Same thing for this, just the same thing. I'm gonna do three and then push tab. That looks a little bit smaller. So I think I'm actually gonna just pull this out a little bit more. And then again with this guy, just changing this to be a three. There, perfect. I love the way that these look. I love the way the seller did this. Uh, I think they did a really great job in this. You can definitely make your own, but I mean for $2.60, you can use this as many times as you want. So instead of messing around with that and taking the time to do it, I'm just gonna purchase it and make it that way. So since I have three words here, I need to duplicate this two more times. So I have it selected. I'm gonna go up to the duplicate button up here and I'm gonna hit it twice so that we're gonna have two more uh, playing areas here. So the last thing I want to do here is change the color. So I'm going to show you there are three of them here. So go with each one. Um, I actually did a video, a short video uh, at Michael's. I was completely surprised at how cheap uh, their sizer, I think it's called, uh, HTV vinyl was. It was $7.99, normally $22. So I picked up a few of them. I picked up a pink glitter color. I also picked up a... Uh, golden glitter color and then I also picked up a holographic HTV one which was would look kind of neat on here too so but for the starting of this I'm just gonna use the pink and the gold I think that would go really well with these bags so I am actually gonna change I think I'm gonna change all of these the happy Valentine's Day to the gold and then do the little boards the pink color so the way to do that is I'm gonna select all three of these because I want them to be the same color go up to the color box and then just find you know a similar color to what I'm going to use is this little pink here then I'm gonna do the same with these guys select all three of them I'm gonna go up to the color box and I'm gonna change it to there's not really a gold here so I'm gonna do this brown and I just know since I'm working with two of them that this is gonna be the gold and then this is gonna cut out as the pink so that's pretty much it guys the person who made this did a really good job like I said they they welded everything together so there's nothing for us to do here next step is you want to go to make it and then it's going to show you what it's going to look like on the side here. One thing I like to do is just take these and move them over just a little bit more that I can get my scissors in between. And because we're working with HTV heat transfer vinyl, you always want to mirror your image. So please do that. And I know it's not really mirroring too much here. You could just leave it the way it is. But just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you it. Same thing with this. I just like to move it over just a tad bit. I don't want to waste any vinyl, but I like to get my scissors in here um, without trying to be too precise and not cut off these pieces. Again, you want to click the mirror button, which I'm going to go ahead and do, and it flips it here. I'm going to go to continue, and then I'm going to show you what setting I used for this. Um, since it is the glitter HTV, it's going to be a different setting that I use. So here it is here, I have all these settings. Normally if I'm just using regular HTV, I use this heat transfer non-Cricut. You guys, if you know my channel, you know I don't really like working with Cricut. Um, so I'm gonna use this glitter iron on one here. If you can't find it, you just go in the browse all material and you type up here and you just type in glitter and then push enter and then it'll bring all of these on here that you can choose from the stars that are here are the ones that I just save for what I when I use them the most so that's it right here so I'm gonna click that click done and one other thing I like to do when I'm using glitter is go to the pressure here and just do more I do have a brand new blade in here and yet it seems though if I don't do more pressure that it doesn't cut all the way through so I'm just making sure that I just have it on the more so read this and make sure you do it you have the glitter iron on make sure your mirror is turned on which they both are and then when you put your material on your mat you want to do it shiny side down I'm just using a green mat but if you do have a purple mat which is the strongest kind I would suggest using that I don't have it yet I actually just placed an order for them so if you have a purple mat please go ahead and use that one for this and then I'm going to show you um, after this is weeded out and cut out how to put these on your bags you're going to need an iron an easy press or a heat press and the heat press is what I have so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like next all right guys so I'm at my heat press I have it set at 380 degrees for 20 seconds I have my files on here already here's what they look like um I'll cut out I'll show you really quick I really love how they turned out I love the color of it so this is the golden one that I got I'm just putting it in the center here 
And then because it has the little drawstrings on the side here, I need to position them on the side because I need to get full pressure of the whole thing. So if I would just do this, it would um, come up here on the lip and it wouldn't fully press if that makes sense. So I'm just putting it on the side here as if I would have a zipper I would do the same exact thing. I would just put it on the side so that um, I'm getting the full press with it. So I have all three of them set up here ready and I'm just going to take my Teflon sheet and then carefully lay it over this without touching any of the pieces. So I'm going to press this for the 20 seconds. So once it's all finished you just pull up and then be very careful because it is hot and if you're using an iron or an easy press it would be the same kind of thing you just have to look it up to see how long you're supposed to put it on here for so I'm gonna carefully peel this up so there's the first one I will show you in a second and I'm gonna peel this one up and if you have anything that is peeling up when it's not supposed to, you can actually go over this again and give it another quick press. But I am not having any proper problems here. So here's this one. You know, it's kind of hard to see with the glitter, but there's the first one. And then that one. This one's a little bit harder to read, to be honest with you. They're the ones with the hearts in between. So I don't know if I would use that one again. And then here is the third one. Um, and then just do the same thing with the backs. So I'm going to flip them over. And here is the pink one that I have. I'll show you one here because it will show up better than on my hand. Um, so I'm just looking for the center. And here is what that looks like. Same thing. I'm going to put it on the edge here once I get it centered where I want it to go just because I don't want any room in between. So if I press this, it would go on this part rather than on here to make it flat. So I'm just gonna take my next piece and do the same thing. Looking at this, I see that I could have made these pieces just a little bit larger, but I didn't wanna go over the edges at all. So again, I'm just gonna put it on the side. Find my last one, here we go. And do the same thing. Press it for the 20 seconds, which seems to work really well. And then we will be finished. So I'm just going to put that on the side, put my Teflon tape, or Teflon tape, my Teflon paper over it. You can use parchment paper if you don't have this. Um, but I'm having problems here. There we go. Making sure that you're not moving your files at all. And please be very careful with this. If you do have an easy press, you can most certainly use that. Or if you have an iron, you can do that. But I absolutely love my heat press. I do talk about it every time I use it. It is a 15 by 15. I absolutely love it. I don't have to do anything. As you can see, my hands are right here. I'm not pushing anything. I'm not counting. It's doing it all for me. So I have four seconds left, and it's all done. So I would highly suggest looking into a heat press. So there it is finished. Again, be very careful. It's going to be hot. And then just peel back the plastic. Oh, wow. I love this. I've never really used... Um, I'm going to say it wrong again, Sizer, Caesar, um, vinyl HTV before, and I'm actually in love with this. It was so, so simple to weed out, and the finished product is really awesome. How it, you know, didn't take that long to press this or um, put it on, so I'm really excited at this. I think it turned out really awesome. So the last thing I'm going to do is just fill it with the eraser pieces and um, try to sell it that way. I was doing last year, I was selling the other ones for $5 a piece and they were going really well. So, um, you know, I have, what, about 80 cents uh, into this or so, give or take, probably maybe more of a dollar when you um, put into account the vinyl itself and then the bag and then the piece. It's probably a dollar a piece. So I'm going to try to put these on the Facebook marketplace and see how they go. Yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. I really hope it helped you out. Give me a thumbs up if you did and please guys, if you like this video, share it with people. I work really hard on these. I try my hardest to show you guys step by step. Give me some love. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me with the comments so please continue with that happy valentine's day and i do have more valentine's day um crafts coming up and i have some previous ones that i did as well so go back and check on those if you're interested happy valentine's day and happy crafting everyone